what we're enjoying Wednesdays, part of Elmhurst Public Library at Home, the library's online program series. Each week, we'll be bringing you videos from our staff talking about what they're watching, reading, listening to, playing, making, or otherwise enjoying each week. This week, I've been enjoying Royal Holiday by Jasmine Guillory. Vivian Forrest has gotten a free trip to England when her daughter is called in to style for the Duchess uh, over the Christmas holiday. There, she runs into Malcolm, the Queen's private secretary. What begins as a private tour of the estate turns into a holiday fling or maybe something more. This is the fourth book in Guillory's Wedding Date series, but you do not need to read the previous books in order to enjoy this one. It's a nice light read for these troubling times, and even though it's not Christmas, it's still very enjoyable. Hello. This week I've been doing a lot of baking to keep busy and use up shelf staples. I find recipes in our digital magazine collections and Flipster and RB Digital to try. I found a great banana bread recipe to use up the bananas that I accidentally let go bad, among other recipes. You can use both of these services on your computer or your mobile device with your Elmhurst Public Library card. Hi everyone, this is Lori from the Kids Department. I'd like to share a book with you that I'm listening to on Hoopla. It's a teen book. It's called The Light in Hidden Places by Sharon Cameron. It centers around 16-year-old Stefania, or Fusha, as her friends like to call her, who lives on a farm with her big family in Poland. Um, she loves her family, but she's getting bored and restless. She thinks there's got to be more to life than just the farm. So she goes to the town of Przemysz, and she quickly finds a job working for a Jewish family in their store. Her bright smile and her captivating personality quickly win her the favor of everyone who knows her, and soon she's living with the, the family as one of their own. Well, things change quickly when the Nazis invade Poland and throw the family into a ghetto. The Nazis have decreed anyone caught helping Jews would be immediately executed. Does she have the courage to help her new family or will fear keep her bound to help herself? Fans of Marcus Zusak's The Book Thief will love this engaging audiobook. It is best for grades nine and up. Hi, I'm Brian, and this week I'm binging Afterlife, starring and written by Ricky Gervais on Netflix. It's a show about Tony, who recently lost his wife, and in his grief, he decides he doesn't want to live. Then he realizes that because he doesn't have anything to lose, he can live his life however he pleases. It's a comedy, but the show is also sweet and thought-provoking and Gervais's character begins to realize that it's not as simple as he thought to live life without caring. Season two is coming out this Friday, and it's totally worth binging the whole thing, so I hope you enjoy it. This week I'm enjoying The Giver of Stars by Jojo Moyes. This is the first time I've read a book by Jojo Moyes, and I loved it. Um, this book is set in rural Kentucky in the 1930s and 40s, and it's historical fiction about uh, the librarians who delivered books um, on horseback to rural Kentuckians in the mountains. It has a beautiful setting. It has really strong female characters, which I love. Um, they break out of their traditional roles, and um, I'm just really looking forward to reading more of her books. I'm Jeremy, and what I've been enjoying lately is the podcast Fake Doctors, Real Friends with Zach and Donald. It's just the cast of Scrubs as they rewatch the very first season, go through episode by episode and discuss it. So if you have the DVDs or any way of streaming it, you can watch the episode and then listen to the podcast and get the inside scoop um, from the creators of the show, which is really neat. Um, because I've missed out on Record Store Day this year, I've been going through my album collection. So over the weekend, I listened to Tumbleweed Connection by Elton John and Quadrophenia by The Who. Thanks. I have been enjoying listening to the audiobook Pet by Akweke Amizi. In a near future utopian society, transgender teen Jam has grown up in a world where no one believes monsters exist anymore. But when Pet, a beast from one of her mother's canvases comes to life, it tells Jam that a monster is near and must be hunted. And when Pet tells Jam that the monster lurks at her best friend Redemption's house, she knows she has no choice but to help. This good versus evil fantasy is best for grades nine and up and is available in Overdrive both as an ebook and an e-audiobook.
Hello everyone, as one of the only people on the planet that had never read the series of Harry Potter books, I'm using the shelter in place time to listen to each book in the series. Currently I am on Goblet of Fire, um, which is available through Libby. I then rent the movies afterwards um, and watch those as well. I find it really interesting to listen to the books. Um, the voices of the characters changing makes it very engaging and I'm enjoying this new adventure. This week I did something I've never done before. I borrowed a video on demand. Trolls World Tour. It was super great. My family and I loved it. Uh, it was great to sing along to. It was funny. It was lighthearted. It was exactly what I needed right now. I definitely recommend you check it out. Hello. I am Marty Velasic from the kids department and I am reading a book right now called Dear Edward by Anne Napolitano. And it's really drawn my interest. It's about a 12-year-old boy who survives a terrible plane crash. And it's basically a, a book psychologically um, worded going into the lives of Edward, his family, before and then after passengers on this plane. And it's very interesting. It deals with um, tragedy and how people deal with tragedy. It's a good read. I've been enjoying Freegal, a free music platform available with your Elmhurst library card. You can listen to lots of great music on your computer and with the app. You can create playlists, stream albums, download music, and you get to keep it too. And right now, Freegal is allowing unlimited streaming 24-7 and they've got lots of great playlists too, including one called Work From Home, the social distancing playlist. And that includes songs like So Fresh, So Clean by Outkast, Lost in the Supermarket by The Clash, and I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor. You can also search for focus music too, to help you concentrate on your work and block out sounds of landscapers and other people in your home on their Zoom calls. Hi, I just read Shuggy Bane. It's a story about a young boy who is abandoned by his father and lives with his alcoholic mother in public housing in Glasgow. Despite his many struggles um, growing up and being ostracized by his neighbors and schoolmates, he still powers through. You'll get to love the character of Shuggy, and it does have an uplifting ending. And if you don't know out about um, Scottish slang, you'll learn a lot in this great book by Douglas Stewart. I'm rewatching one of my comfort food TV shows. Royal Pains, all eight seasons are on Netflix. It's about Dr. Hank Lawson who gets fired from his New York City ER job and goes to the Hamptons with his accountant brother Evan to set up a concierge medical practice. There's comedy, drama, intrigue, humor, romance, and beautiful scenery. Dr. Hank is also the MacGyver of medicine. He can make medical equipment out of just about anything. This week, I've been enjoying books that are great reads for grades four through six. Manana Land by Pam Munoz Ryan is a story of one boy's quest for his mother and the truth in a faraway land. It's filled with great characters, friendships, danger, and mystical storytelling. The Forgotten Girl by India Hill Brown is a spooky ghost story that will keep you in suspense. A tale full of spine-tingling moments and hidden history. For readers who enjoy authors like Mary Downing Hahn and Dan Poblaki. Both these books are available to download. Mm -hmm.